Here is a preserved yellow perch. First up looking at the external anatomy. Obviously we have the mouth. It's a terminal mouth. It's right on the end. And then you can see the eye which has been sort of oddly glazed over from the preservative. And there's one of the nares right here. And there's two of them. One, two. I'll show them close up in a minute. This is really common. Fish spines sort of fold flat, which means the whole fin folds flat. So you can see that first dorsal, anterior dorsal fin is quite spiny. Can you guys hear that? Like the scalpel against the bone? Whereas the second dorsal fin, it still has those spines, but they're not nearly as sharp or like dangerous. Like these ones would actually stab you a little bit. When you catch fish, like you always have to make sure you grab them like this because they can be stabby. We've got a caudal fin with that fleshy bit at the end and then the non fleshy bit that comes out into that sort of fan shape. Then we have the anal fin down here. Again, it's got some spikes, like this one's quite spiky. What's really interesting about Telios fishes is that the pelvic fin has come forward, so it's just underneath the pectoral fin. So you've got this little pectoral fin. Unlike the shark, it's not fleshy. There's hardly any muscle. There's just a little bit of muscle right here, the connector. It's just these little spiky fins. So that's pectoral, and then pelvic is just below it. We always think of pectoral being at the shoulder girdle and the pelvic being at the hip girdle, but Telios fishes is come forward for better steering. So they have more mobility with a pair of pelvic fins just below their pair of pectoral fins. Another cool thing about the telos fishes that we didn't see in the sharks is this is totally covered. This is a hard operculum covering the gills. So it's like a bony plate that protects the gills from the external environment. So you can get in there, but, and you can see, oh, it's not gonna work the mouth, the jaws sort of pop out as well. I don't want to destroy it too much. I wanted to give you guys a close-up view of the face. You can see the two nares on the top and the eye and the mouth. That's it for external anatomy.